And NFL insider Josina Anderson to give us the latest here before we get to the weekend. Now let's start with Tennessee because we might have a Derrick Henry signing this weekend. Had a contact practice yesterday, but what are you hearing about him playing Saturday against the Bengals? Well, first and foremost, everybody has been on the Derrick Henry watch since he suffered that injury to his right foot uh, week eight against the Colts, missing the last nine games of the regular season, suffering that right foot injury to the fifth metatarsal area, which is known as the Jones fracture. Now, he had that surgery November 2nd, and what's really remarkable about this is that it's only been 11 weeks, so just shy of three months. And typically, when you suffer this injury, they give you four months to heal, let alone if you're talking to the NFL rushing king that actually needs that foot and rushes on it more. Now, you mentioned that he had his first contact practice on Tuesday since returning from IR. And just based off of looking at the video from this practice and also having an opportunity to talk to Dr. David Chow, who, as you know, is on Twitter and is uh, Mr. Pro Football Talk and used to work in the NFL for over two decades. Decade, just wanted to get an assessment of what people are seeing based on how he looked in practice. I also agree that you can tell that he is favoring that right side when he tries to cut and run on the right side versus the comparison to the left. So you can see that there is an awareness that he suffered that injury. And also just from the standpoint of when it comes to what his endurance is going to be, what his duration will be over four quarters. Now, Derrick Henry remains shy and coy as to what his exact availability will be on on Saturday, I do believe in looking at this video that he will play, but they will proceed uh, with caution just in terms of how he'll be able to last. Now, what was also curious about his comments is that he mentioned that he has a steel plate in that foot. That was something that I specifically wanted to ask Dr. Chow about, because if that is the case, that would suggest that should, there should be more concern or that recovery window would be even longer. Now, uh, this is something that he actually said on Twitter is that he thinks that Derrick Henry misspoke and that he believes believes that he means that he has a steel plate in the shoe. Obviously, we don't know that for sure, but you would think that if that's the case, that there would be some uh, effect on his mobility and his ability to roll through the foot. Typically, when you have that surgery, um, there's a screw that's inserted on that side. Uh, all this is to say that I do believe that he, he will play. Uh, obviously, that's pending any setbacks, but there will be a mitigation in terms of how he's used. The good news for the Titans is that they are fifth in rushing uh, since he's been out. They were six and two with him, six and three without him. Not big difference in terms of the rushing yard. It's just a 10 yards difference less without him. Uh, and uh, Deontay Freeman has been able to lead them in rushing, uh, getting 566 rush yards, uh, three touchdowns with 133 carries going with that running back committee uh, uh, approach there. So that's something that they can continue to lean on and have them just to amplify. I mean, obviously, they uh, were able to attain the one seed in the AFC without him as well. We all want to see the rush king can kind of get back to what he was. Maybe if he even gets 20 to 30 carries there, he still could be a decoy uh, managing that injury there. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.